points for your analysis, five points for your, your writing, your writing style. Um, I'm hoping to be in a position to serve, honestly. Uh, my narrative, since I've been locked up and kind of made my transition, has been like redemption, accountability. I've accepted and admitted and then taken an accountability for what I did. I'm not innocent. So I had to decide how do I redeem myself. Anybody can just passively do the time. It's easy to just be locked up, be punished, accept the time you're given and languish away in prison. But it's work that needs to be done. I have a debt that needs to be paid, not just for the people who are harmed, but now for the communities that I might have affected and for the people coming behind me. So I hope Northwestern can help me be in a position of serving, giving back on the inside and outside. I guess the first thing most people ask is uh, why prison education? You know, why does it have to be at a prison? Aren't there other people that you would rather be teaching? What I say to that is the students at Stateville have had much more barriers to gaining an education than most anybody. And I think that when given an opportunity to learn, the students at Stateville really go above and beyond of what you would expect of a student anywhere. I'm always surprised when people say we don't know how to deal with violence because we absolutely do. Education has been shown over and over again to be the most effective way of positively intervening in the criminal justice system. The Northwestern Prison Education Program is the only program in the state of Illinois that provides a comprehensive liberal arts education to people who are incarcerated. The Northwestern program overall provides a safe space and the learning environment is amazing because I'm getting the same education that a Northwestern student on Evanston's campus is receiving. I mean, the opportunity is amazing and I don't take it for granted at all. Every day, I'm appreciative to what I have going on, so it's a blessing. And I've been around several uh, types of people since I've been in prison. And there is like a small percentage of people that I admit, no matter what you do, many of them, they don't want to change, they're not going to change. But the vast majority of us, if you put resources in front of us and give us an opportunity to be better men and better women, we want to do that. Many of us want to atone to our communities and our victims and our societies for the things that we've done and to make like a substantive contribution. It's a good environment. Oh, that surprised me because I just thought I was going to walk in and it was just going to be like school. This is what you got to do. I see you. Next week, turn this in, but it's not like that at all. Throughout my life, you know, being in school, this is probably one of the most hands-on interaction I've got from any instructor. My favorite is the writing class. You know, I write as a hobby myself already, so to be able to write a TV drama is different. I've written a novel and a self-help book already, so being able to write a TV drama just kind of broadened my horizons.
there's this idea that locking people up makes society safer, but actually it's much more beneficial to educate people, reintegrate them into their home communities so that they can be partners and husbands and mentors in their communities, and they're not gonna end up back in prison because they received a post-secondary education while they were incarcerated. Teaching and giving an education to incarcerated students lowers recidivism rates. And by lowering recidivism rates, you decrease the amount of money we have to spend on building penitentiaries and you know, housing inmates. And so just from an economic standpoint, prison education makes a lot of sense. So for every one dollar we spend on prison education, we save four to five dollars on reincarceration rates. So it's, it's cost effective. The data shows that prison education breaks the intergenerational cycle of poverty and incarceration. So oftentimes people think that the work that we're doing is just limited to the classroom and they don't think about all of the connections that all of those men have to their home communities. I have a 21 year old, a 20 year old and 17 year old sons. So they're looking at me to be an example and educate them. If I know and I can tell them, then they're aware so that they don't make the same mistakes that I made. So overall, I think MPEP has helped me become a better father. I'm parenting from the penitentiary. It means a lot to me because now I could just show my kids, no matter what you're going through, if you stay focused and positive, you can still make a difference. My name is Mary Patillo. I teach classes that blend sociology and African American studies and the first class I taught at Stateville was called the Sociology of Chicago and it was transformative. The experience itself is just um, rejuvenating. I mean I'm an African American studies professor, I teach about inequality, I teach about racism, so I feel it as a justice calling and as a human calling. The students are eager and uh, brilliant and who doesn't want to teach eager, brilliant students? <laughs> professor Mary Patillo was my favorite professor. She speaks my language personally, as far as culturally, academically. Sociology has always been kind of a, a peripheral interest of mine because of the study of how things came to be how they are, especially in marginalized communities. I think that was the best part about it, learning about the structural issues that precipitated some of the conditions in the communities that I'm from and a lot of the guys that I've known are from. Learning about gentrification and social economics and just the systemic issues that happen in impoverished neighborhoods gave me a broader understanding of what actually happens on a daily basis in these neighborhoods, keeping undereducated individuals that don't have equal opportunity, keeping them marginalized. So sociology actually just gave me an understanding of where I came from, how I ended up here. The fascinating thing about teaching this class in both Evanston and Stateville, there are age differences, there are race differences, there are locational differences, meaning all the men at Stateville are from Illinois. The students in Evanston come from all over the country. A class like the Sociology of Chicago went over much better in Stateville than it did in Evanston because the men had a lot more firsthand experience. They knew Chicago and could bring what they knew to the class. The benefits of the Northwestern Prison Education Program are not just for the people who are incarcerated or for their home communities. We've also seen enormous benefits to our own community here in Evanston and Chicago. This is the second year where we've offered a law class that has half of the class makeup is JD students and half are our Stateville students. After the first run of the class last year, many of the law students wrote and said they will never practice law the same way, that there is something profoundly different about learning alongside um, someone who is incarcerated rather than just meeting with them in an attorney room. The experience of um, being in the law class with the students, invaluable, especially for somebody like me. I didn't do a lot of good when I was on the street. And so the opportunity to like pour into these like young people that are gonna be like defense attorneys, um, state's attorneys, judges, to, to meet them and to give them another perspective of, you know, from the other side of the street. 
was like an awesome experience. Volunteering at MPEP has really helped me to see outside of my really small corner. So talking this to the students at Stateville and then also talking to the other graduate students that volunteered at MPEP has really broadened my perspective and it's really helped me see the value in doing things that are completely unrelated to chemistry and to see the value in teaching, especially in non-traditional settings. I think the most important thing about me being in a program is the opportunity the opportunity to change the narrative about myself personally, the opportunity to shake the stigma and to be able to also use it as a tool for personal growth, and personal development. It's challenging. It's been, it's been really challenging. Excuse me. It's been challenging in a good way though. It also helps me break down some of the barriers that have been created in me since like a child. Barriers of self-doubt, thinking that I can't do something, that I can't finish, that I can't figure something out. So that's been a challenge for me to fight through these inadequacies my whole life. And it's, a, it's an ongoing process. So you don't even need it, right? Uh, people are being, uh, 